Hello and welcome back. For those that are new here, my name is Leah. I work in the field of sea turtle conservation and I created this channel to share about all the work uh, being done in the field, raise awareness of the amazing work being done by nonprofits around the world and answer some top sea turtle questions. And that is exactly what we're gonna be doing here today, answering some very popular questions that I get asked after doing sea turtle talks in schools and just being out on the beach doing my day-to-day -day activities. Okay, so starting off with how big is the largest sea turtle? Well, Archelon, which is an ancestor to our present day sea turtles, could get up to seven meters or 21 feet in length. They lived during the time of the dinosaurs. Our present day largest sea turtle is the leatherback, which can reach lengths of seven feet and can weigh over 2,000 pounds. Another popular question is, how many eggs do they lay? It does vary from species to species, but the loggerhead sea turtle can lay 120 eggs on average per clutch, and they lay about three to five clutches a season. But how many of those eggs will actually hatch? Well, it varies. It varies from nest to nest, from season to season. A lot will be determined what sort of weather events we experience. It could be anywhere from like 60 to up to 95% hatch success rate. I've even had a few nests that had 100% hatch success rate, although that is fairly rare. So why do the eggs need to be laid on land? Well, for the eggs to survive, they must have oxygen. The embryos breathe air through a membrane in the eggs. So if totally submersed in water, they would drown. Very brief intermission now to please ask you to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit subscribe to join this totally awesome community. All right, back to the questions. How do you tell the sex of a sea turtle? Well, I did create a video, which I can link somewhere up in here, but you cannot tell the sex of a sea turtle hatchling just by looking at them. As adults, males have a much longer tail that far exceeds their carapace, and that is a way that you can tell the males from the females. How long can sea turtles hold their breath for? Well, if they're very active, they will be surfacing to breathe very frequently. Now, sea turtles have lungs like you and I, but they have specially adapted to be able to hold their breath for long periods of time. But at rest and sleeping, they can hold their breath for about four to seven hours. How deep can sea turtles dive? Well, leatherbacks, like their name states, has a leathery type of shell, allowing them to dive really deep in the ocean, much deeper than the other hard-shelled species. The leatherbacks can dive to a depth of 1,000 meters or 3,000 feet in search of prey, the jellyfish. Why are sea turtles endangered? Well, sadly, it is due to human impact. Past consumption of meat and eggs and destruction of feeding and nesting sites, pollution, negative fishing practices, has all led to a reduced population. Do mother turtles attend their nest? No. Once the female turtle comes ashore and lays those eggs, covers the backs up, and heads back to the ocean, those hatchlings are on their own. Why do the hatchlings emerge altogether? Well, that chamber is fairly deep. It could be 18 to 24 inches in depth if a loggerhead sea turtle, or maybe even deeper, depending on the other species. So they do have to work as a team to propel themselves up and get out of the sand. Also, safety in numbers, they only have a chance of one in a thousand of reaching adulthood. So if they go all together, they have better odds to make it to the ocean. How do hatchlings and adults locate the ocean? Well, sea turtles are phototactic, which means that they are influenced by light. They are attracted and guided to the ocean by the brightness of the horizon or kind of that moonlight reflection on the ocean. And that is why we ask and stress to keep white lights off of the beach as they can get confused and go the wrong way. Why should humans protect sea turtles? Well, instead of answering this one, I did create a video all on why sea turtles are important for the environment. So I will also link that up here and I'll include it in the description down below. So hopefully I answered maybe some questions that you had that you didn't know yet about sea turtles. If you have any other questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you and we will see you next week. Stay turtly awesome.